What is up, artists and movers? It's me, Galen Larice, and welcome back to another stretch and strength video here on my channel. In today's video, we're going to combine body weight stretches with strengthening exercises that will encourage you to use your core and leg muscles. The combination of all of these movements together, the stretching and the strengthening, will help you release tension and improve your balance. Before starting, I gave my muscles a quick roll using my Motion Prep 3-piece massage ball set. I hadn't done a deep stretch session in a while, so this helped me find those knots in my back so I could roll them out a bit before stretching. This way, my stretches will be much more effective and relaxed and won't feel so tight during this routine. Motion Prep is my brand that I created for dancers and stretch lovers and is a huge part of what allows me to keep making videos on this channel. So thank you so much to you guys who've gotten your own sets. A link to them will be in the description box below and to the right of this video on your screen in case you wanna grab yours. And once you've found a spot to stretch, let's begin. started with some squat taps and releves for our one minute warm up. I want you to start in a parallel position making sure that the outside edges of your feet, not the inside edges, are what is creating that parallel stance. As you bend, I want you to keep your knees over your toes and really stick your bottom out behind you so that your stomach almost rests on your thighs. While you're here, I want you to lower to touch the floor with your fingertips and then lift your upper body slightly to touch your knees. This is an isometric exercise for your quads, meaning that they should stay contracted and shouldn't move. All that should be moving is your upper body. One set will involve doing eight squat taps to the floor and then rising to a releve for eight counts afterward. We'll do these for a total of one minute. Ready, set, Great! For this next exercise, I want you to stand with your legs bent in parallel, a hips width apart. Now, take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, I want you to bend your body directly to the side while keeping your hips exactly where they are. Check your hanging arm here to make sure it's pointing straight down by your side, not out into the air, and that your ear is straight over your shoulder. Here, you should feel a deep stretch in the side of your neck and your obliques on the side of your torso. Now I want you to contract your abs like you're preparing for someone to punch you in the stomach. Go ahead, tighten them. Now use that tightening to bring you back upright while pressing your shoulders away from your ears. We will alternate doing these on the right and the left for one minute. These are also great to do with a 10 pound weight, so feel free to hold those in your hands while doing these if you have them. Ready, set,
beautiful job, you guys. I promise you're gonna feel those tomorrow. Next, we're going to go into a good old fashioned side reach. Make sure that that reaching arm is constantly stretching away from you all the way through your fingertips. If you watch my stretch videos, then you know I don't really care which side you do first. Just do whichever feels most comfortable for you. We'll stay here for 30 seconds and then switch to the opposite side. Ready, set, go. And now, the other side. Nice. Let's reach down for a bended hang, but I want you to keep those knees bent and really let your body weight hang. Be sure to take deep breaths here in and out the entire time, allowing yourself to relax further on the exhales. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. And now I want you to place your hands on the floor and go into your highest releve. Really pull up in those quads to keep your knees straight and extend your lower back so that your bottom reaches up into the air. You should feel like you're being folded like a flat piece of paper. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Next, let's go into a lunge, stretching that heel long behind you and keeping your spine and neck in line with your back leg. Your abdominals should be engaged here as well. This will give you a stretch in your hip flexors at the front of your hips. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Nice job, you guys. Next, we're going to go into a seated foot stretch. This is going to stretch your foot's plantar flexion or the range of your foot pointing forward. 
Be careful to keep most of your body weight in your hands and then slowly transfer some of your body weight over your foot. Do not sickle your ankle here. Most of the pressure should be over your big toe, not over your baby toes. If you would rather do the stretch over the ball of your foot instead, go right ahead. Just make sure your toes are lying flat on the floor and that they aren't crunching. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Good, and slowly move yourself over your knees and stand up with your legs bent. I want you to lift your arm opposite your back leg and rest it on your hip as you spiral in your lower spine and press your bottom arm away from the floor. Now allow yourself to sink into that hip and really feel that glute stretch. You should also feel a wide stretch across your chest pushing away from the floor. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Now we're going to repeat the sequence of stretches on the other side, starting with the releve reach. Be sure to listen for a to know when to switch to the next position. Ready, set, go.
beautiful. Now roll yourself up slowly and let's finish with some calm and strong releves. Stand in a turned out second position and I want you to rise to the ball of your feet while keeping that outward rotation in your thighs. Make sure that those knees aren't bent too. We'll stay here for 30 seconds switch to a first position for 30 seconds, and then finish in parallel for our final 30 seconds. Don't let those heels drop the entire time. We wanna finish strong. Are you ready? Good, go. And now, first position. parallel. Really squeeze those ankles and inner thighs together, you guys. We're almost done. And that is it, you guys. You should feel more loose in your hips and more stable in your core, calves, and ankles. If you enjoyed this stretch routine, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my future uploads. I'll see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later!